Hello everyone, this is going to be a love reading for the sign of Cancer, for single Cancers, uh, for the month of January. So let's see, single Cancers, what can they expect in January? Who's coming towards single Cancers with love in the month of January? Who is coming new with love for Cancers in January? Ooh, um, Cancer, you have several candidates here, several opportunities, but you don't like either of them, and even worse, they are causing trouble in your life and hardships. It's not easy for you to interact with these people. Uh, it's not easy for you to get along well with them. You're not on the same page. Um, you, you don't see eye to eye. You don't fit your levels of energy. And it's just so burdensome uh, for you. It's like you don't even feel like going out on a date with them or uh, even talking to them because it feels so draining. It feels like it's very hard and you'd rather just not deal with them anyway although they are here and i see several uh candidates but yeah you 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 don't you don't gel <laughs> no yeah you don't gel cancer uh with these people let's see let's see how uh let's try to find someone's energy here that we can pick up and ask about them um, let's see, how do they see you, Cancer? How does this person Cancer is dealing with this month see them? Okay, they like you. They see you as sexy. They see you as uh, the type of woman they can um, actually build a family with. Like, they see you as you know, marriage material and all that, and you, you're beautiful, uh, you're energetic, you're a go-getter, you're a family woman, they have a great impression of you. Now, let's see, what is it that uh, Cancer doesn't like? Um, how does Cancer see this person they're going to be dealing with in um, January? How does Cancer see this person in January? Yeah, you know, there is potential there. You, you are confident that it could actually work out. It's just that there could be some immaturity here um, coming from this person. Or I, I said earlier, I see them as multiple people. So overall, I, I'm the, under the impression that you are confident in the sense that um, you believe it could work out. But I think there is a problem of immaturity here. Um, the Page of Wands is a very cute card, a very cute person. You know, they're adorable in the way they are, um, you know, full of energy and passionate and driven. But the Page of Wands can also drive you insane. Uh, they're all over the place. And uh, they're very high energy and, you know, they, 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 because of that, instead of doing what they are supposed to do, uh, they 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 just go to whatever catches their attention and um, I think you're uh, hopeful that hey you know that can that's not that bad that can be solved it's, it it can work out it's just but when this person doesn't meet their expect your expectations and they act like the page of wands conflicts uh, conflict um, erupts and then um, you feel drained you feel like oh you're not you I can't trust you I can't rely on you you just bring me trouble uh, this is the kind of energy that uh, the dynamic, this is how the dynamic between the two of you feels, because look, you're, you're the queen of wands, they're the page of wands, you're more mature than them. So there could even be an age difference here, but I, I see it more as a difference in energy and maturity more, more um, specifically. 
So let's see. What are this person's intentions towards cancer? What are this person's intentions towards cancer in January? I had this one and these ones. Um, yeah, so cancer. Um, this person is apprehensive when it comes to you because they think you want to control them. And they're probably right. You probably do tell them, hey, you need to step up. Hey, you need to grow up. Hey, you need to. And they're like, mm, do I really want to be told that? I don't really like it. I don't want cancer to start acting like mommy, you know. And um, so, so they're also very aware of the fact that this dynamic between the two of you is shaky and you often don't see eye to eye and they don't meet your expectations and because of that you know they have their guard up like i think a cancer might be too domineering i think they might be too demanding of me and you know, what am i going to do am i ready to grow up and be the kind of person cancer wants me to be Mm, they have these, um, they're thinking about these things, they, they, this kind of thoughts run through their minds. Okay, let's see what's the outcome. What's going to happen in the end, by the end of the month of January, between Cancer and this new person? What's going to happen between Cancer and this new person? Um... Cancer, you get along well with this person overall, like in the sense that you have fun with them. Not that you get along well as in you have the same opinions and all of that. No, it's just fun between the two of you. But it's going to stop at some point, uh, this connection, because of arguments. You know, you, you 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 talk, you have fun. It's it's nice. It's uh, and then an, an argument uh, breaks out, and then you stop speaking to each other, and then it all becomes draining again. It becomes hard for you again. So in the end, I see uh, you putting a stop to this. Either you or them. I don't know who is going to take this initiative. But I don't. I'm not confident about the success of this new connection you're dealing with cancer this month because this person is simply not mature enough for you. They, they just cause problems for you, cancer. You need to let them go because um, you can't live like this. You can't live in this stress. Uh, and you can't live with someone who doesn't fulfill your expectations. And even they know this. Even they know they don't fulfill your expectations. So, um, yeah, I, I personally don't see this as a relationship that's going to progress beyond friendship. I don't even think you're going to interact with this person on a very let's say, romantic, physical, sexual um, front. Um, I don't see you actually being together, starting a relationship. I think there's going to be, you know, some back and forth communication, the, the, the promise of a brand new beginning, but then one of you is going to say like, no, let's stay friends, we have fun together and all that, but mm, on the romantic front, in terms of an actual relationship, I'm not sure it's going to work out well, okay? So I don't think the one who shows up this month for, is uh, actually the one for you, Cancer. So that was the reading. I hope it gave you some guidance. I hope it gave you some clarity for your situation. And I'll see you in my next videos. Bye for now.